Biscuity with another video. So today we're doing part six on how to make a FNAF fan game on Scratch. So off camera, I added some more to the warning screen saying rated NFE not for everyone and important. This is the second game on my timeline. I also added a cutscene and a skip button for that cutscene. I'm not going to show you the cutscene because it's kind of spoilery and I'm you're going to have to see when I release the game. So anyway, in this episode, we're going to make this office that we created last episode a scrolling office. So like FNAF where you can look around and stuff. Since the code's pretty long, I'm just going to get it from my backpack and give you a second to copy down the code. It's right here. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go into looks, get a set size to 100% except change that to 75%. Actually, no, sorry, set that to, let's say, 125%. Now what we also want to do is if we actually, let me just show you here, if we go in the office, we'll scroll and everything will work fine, but the effects will not work fine. I'll teach you how to do it right now. So the code that you have in the office, the scrolling code, you want to put in each of the office effects. You want to put it in each one. Just go to the office effect number one. Put it underneath the show. So now that we're done that, we have a pretty solid office, to be honest. And now what you can do is, which I like to do, is add some ambiance. So we can, let's go to sounds. I'm going to just get a sound from my backpack. You can search up ambiance sounds, convert it to an MP3, etc. Stuff like that. So I'm going to use like a rain sound effect, kind of a distant thundery rain sound effect. And to find this, I'm just going to go through my backpack, but you can see we have rain out here. I'm going to play it for you. We're going to make it a little louder so you can actually hear it. There, so you can hear it right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go, when I receive office, forever, play sound rain until done. So now it's just going to be a little bit of ambiance in the background, and it's going to be pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the camera, the camera button specifically. So let's create a new sprite. Let's call it camera button 1. Now there is going to be two, one for the down, one for the up. So pretty much the camera button going to be pretty simple. We're just going to make a um, simple box. I'm going to fill it with that blue. She would fill it with a slightly lighter blue. You know, kind of a nice baby blue. And then we're going to outline it, let's say 5, and then with a darker blue. Just like that. And we're going to take it, and we're going to kind of place it down here. Stretch it out a little bit. And then we're going to get text, change the text to, I'd say purple we can do purple it's actually pretty cool and then change the font to pretty much whatever you want i'm gonna do this one down here and say and call it camera now you want to stretch the text over the thing so it looks even okay so now that you've done that what you can do is you can go to your coding add a when flag is clicked hide and then go to Let's say go to 7 on the X and negative 15 on the Y. And just to make it a little bit cooler, we're going to set a ghost effect on it. But before that, we're going to go when I receive office, set ghost effect, not 50, around, let's say 25. Let's put show, go to front. And with this go to front, you want to put a repeat 2 on it. Just because the effects will show up, and you don't, and with the effects, it will probably make it so the effects go over top, so you won't be able to click the camera button, which is an issue. See now, it has a little bit of ghost effect. It will look better. Let me just show you. See that looks good. There's a little bit of ghost effect. You can see through it, but still see it pretty well. So once you've done that, you want to go when the sprite is clicked. Broadcast. 
new message. Ooh, so I'm about to show you the cutscene. Broadcast new message. And what's called that new message? Camera up. Just like that, we're going to call it camera up. And everything's going to be fine. But what we have to do is we're going to create a variable. This variable is going to be called camera camera and then up slash down no just like that and we're gonna make it for all sprites so we can use it throughout the whole thing I'm just gonna delete these don't ask what they were from don't don't ask okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one flag is clicked hide variable hide variable camera up down then we're gonna see office set camera up down to down and we can put the D as an uppercase and then when the spread is clicked, set camera up, down, to up. We can put the U as an uppercase too, it doesn't matter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make it hide after we've done that. And right underneath, we're just going to add a stop all, except change that stop all to our other scripts in the sprite. So now that we've done that, we have a pretty solid camera button, except it doesn't really do much now. So what we want to do is we want to create a new sprite, and this sprite is going to be called Camera Animation. So this animation is going to be the camera coming up in front of you, just before it opens it up. So what we want to do, let's just do the coding first. When flag is clicked, hide. When I receive camera up, show, go to front, and we want to repeat two on the go to front because of the effects let's put two there and then you want to switch costume to costume one and you can just put that in the repeat okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the animation so it's a pretty simple animation it's just a little monitor going up and then for the down animation we can just reverse it so i'm going to start here with a little box thing i'm going to fill it with gray so let's get gray here, and I'm going to outline it with black, and the black's going to be around 5, let's say. Okay, so I'm going to start it. We're going to start the camera when it's fully open, and then we can just reverse the animation so everything will be fine. Okay, so I'm going to do it like that, and then I'm going to place a black box like this, sort of like the screen, just like that and then we're gonna place a little red dot on the side and we're gonna take that red dot we're gonna copy it copy paste we're gonna put the second copied red dot beside the red dot change it to green there and just like that we pretty much done what the camera idea is gonna look like and we're actually going to do something pretty cool here. And I think you guys will like this a lot, but just wait for next episode. You'll see what I mean. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the sprite. Sorry, what we're going to do actually is we're going to select all of these individual elements by hitting, by clicking on them or hitting shift, just like that. And we're going to hit this button up here that says group. What we're going to do is just group it again. And how we're going to move it is just we're going to move it down a tiny bit. We're going to duplicate it select everything and then move it down a tiny bit and we're going to keep doing that until this is fully down so we'll put a time lapse over. Okay, so once you get to the last part usually costume number 12 we want to hit delete on all this stuff and there now we're done the camera animation part now we have to do some coding into it so what we want to do is when I receive camera up, we did switch costume and costume one. Let's go wait. 0 0.01. Switch costume to costume two. And then what we want to do is we can duplicate this. Do it to costume three. Duplicate this thing again. Do costume four, five. And then just do it until you're done the animation. So two, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and then we just go like that, and then nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so now we're done that, and it looks pretty good. Let me let me just show you what it looks like. There, it looks like that. Pretty cool, actually, in my opinion. We're going to add sound effects later, but for now, we're going to position this right here. So we're going to make it go to 4 on the X position and Y on the f 14 on the Y position. So after we're done that, it looks like this, pretty solid. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this, except do the cam down animation. So we're going to create a new message. We're going to call this camera down and then what we're gonna do is we're essentially going to reverse this stuff we're just gonna reverse all these the animation we're gonna reverse the animation so it goes 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3, 2, and 1. There, so now we have the camera down animation, which looks like this. What does it do there? Okay, so I just made a huge mistake. Let's reverse these. So this one's going to be called camera down. So just change this to camera down. This one's going to be camera up. I'm really sorry. Just change what they block here. So this is camera down. This is camera up. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we want to do is we want to duplicate the cam button, put it over here and call it camera button 2, which it's already called, and instead of setting it up, let's set it to down. And let's also, instead of broadcasting camera up, broadcast camera down. And there we go, and instead of having it show when we receive office, let's show when we receive camera up. And let's see what's make it show when we receive camera up in like 1.5. Actually, let's say one second. Though, so now we have a pretty solid, pretty solid idea of this. Pretty solid animation. Let me just show you the finished product. Okay, what we're gonna do now, as you can see, the camera animation does that. Click it, it does that. But what we want to do is make sure when we receive camera down and this is the main one so the one the one that makes camera up so when I receive camera down wait one second show and then under it put go to front and put a forever loop over that go to front and now everything should be fine so let's broadcast office as you can see, we got the scrolling office here. Camera. Camera down. Camera, camera down. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you liked it. Anyway, bye!